Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What is poppin' guys? My name is Alex. The day is finally here. Last week I posted a trailer about, well, actually a teaser about Vegas Movie Studio 17 Platinum. The day is finally here. Today it got released. You guys get your, get your hands on it. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna open up the program. We're gonna go through the features that are new, features that are not necessarily new, but just improved and everything like that. So if you guys are excited for Vegas Movie Studio 17, 17 platinum and the entire walkthrough make sure to hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and i would say let's get started obviously right after the intro all right guys so if you click on the first link in the description and you picked up the program, you installed it, it's very obvious that you just want to go ahead and install the entire program. So then you will end up having your icon on your desktop about Movie Studio 17. It's there, it's activated. So let's double click on it and let's actually boot up this software. Okay guys, so if you boot up the program, this is basically what you will see. They will prompt you this box where you actually have to choose the resolution first. So right here, we we have widescreen and that's because that's the obvious template for YouTube videos or basically any videos that have like a 1280 by 720 resolution or 1920 by 1080. So if you want to pick a YouTube video template, you can pick this one. But if you want to create, for example, a video for Instagram or an Instagram story, anything like that, you basically want to pick tall phones for tablets, etc. Okay, so for this instance, we're going to pick the widescreen one and we're going to double click on it. Then we're going to hit close. And then what we're going to do is actually customize our layout. So instead of like Vegas Pro and its entire layout, we actually have a couple things that are looking a little bit differently than, for example, Vegas Pro 16 or Vegas Pro 17. So on the left, we kind of have like these shortcuts because if you would go into an insert text, you want to actually go to the media generators tab and scroll down, you know, if you want to insert any type of titles or text or anything like that. But it's very cool that you have on the top left, you can just add in text real simple. If you click on there, it's going to actually immediately insert you a text layer and you can actually go ahead and customize it, type in basically anything that you like. And that's a really, really cool thing. And they actually did that for the same with importing media. For example, if you click this button, it will prompt this box where you can obviously load in all your clips, whether it's pictures, it's sound effects, music, videos, whatever, you can all import it that way. Okay, so another cool thing is that they have the add graphic elements button in here. So if you click on there, it will take you to, for example, checkerboards, color gradients, we have credit rolls. So let's say that you made a short film and you want to give credits to everybody that's involved in making that you can also just drag them real simple on the timeline it's actually pretty cool and if you scroll down we also have like noise textures we have solid colors we have test pattern and colored bars titles and text and these are basically not included i want to point that out that's very important these ones are plugins that don't come with movie studio nor with vegas pro so you don't have these standard in your program but if you have these actually bought them and you have them in vegas pro they will also automatically pop up in movie studio 17 platinum as well okay so on the top if you click on all plugins it's basically everything combined so let's say that you want to go to the creative tab you can actually like sort them out you know by going a category by category so titles and text it comes to like credit rolls and all forms of text will be under this menu if you go to utility we also have these bars let's say that you want to insert a blooper and you want to cut to the next shot you can just insert one of these colored bars into the timeline with like a beep sound effect under it and if you go to third party there will actually be all your plugins because obviously these plugins don't come with movie studio like i've mentioned because they're provided from a third party company the buttons underneath here are not clickable since we don't have any footage in timeline yet to apply these transitions 
and that's the same for the remaining two at the bottom. For example, the video effects, it is actually, you know, color grading and all that. So let's go ahead and drag in, for example, a texture or like these checkerboards into our timeline. And then these buttons on the left will become visible because we have something in our timeline to apply these on. So if you go ahead and slide this one to the beginning, we can actually browse through the timeline and it works exactly the same like Vegas Pro and other versions. If you want to cut out a specific part, you want to just press S on your keyboard, go somewhere else on the timeline or the part that you want to cut out, press S again. You want to click on there, hit the delete key, and then you can just drag it onto each other. So then if you want to add in some transitions and if you got rid of your preview screen, you just want to hit this button, video preview, and then we'll switch back straight to the preview. So let's say they want to create a transition. Let's just drag. I'm going to pick a different clip for this one. So let's go ahead and pick these horizontal blinds for a second. So then we're going to actually make a crossfade over them. And then we can just hit on add video transitions. So then it is actually a matter of you deciding what kind of transition do you want. This is going to be a basic one. It's going to be a 3D fly out. And just like I mentioned, these new blue ones don't come with Vegas Pro. These are all part of plugins. So the top ones are obviously the standard ones into Vegas Pro. And what the cool thing is about this version is that right now it also has slow motion effects. So that basically means that if you want to make your footage a lot smoother, you want to go to the video effects tab and we're going to click on this effects chain button, the plugin chain, and we're going to only select the Vegas Pro plugins that are standard in this program at the bottom left. And then you want to basically look for a Vegas slow motion, which is right here. You want to click on there. You want to hit add. You want to click on OK. And then you can actually mess around with the quality, put it to coarse, medium or fine. It all depends on what you need, but you need to analyze the motion first. So then it's going to analyze the motion of your slow motion clip. And then you can just like choose the playback rate and the optical flow or it's going to be morph. It all depends on like how smooth your clip is, how slow is your slow motion? Is it like slow down for example, like 0.25% or 0.50% or 0.75. You guys know what I'm trying to say. It all depends on your clip and what kind of settings that you need. So another really cool feature in Vegas Movie Studio is the unified color grading workflow. And that's also introduced in Vegas Pro 17. If you hold Alt on your keyboard and you press G, that will actually make these four color panels pop up. So that basically means that if we have, for example, content in our timeline, let's pick this horizon one, we can actually mess around with those four markers. Because I also covered this in a separate video on my channel, I think it was months ago when Vegas 17 released. And it is basically you can mess around with the gain. So if you drag this one to the red, it's obviously going to add these mid tones, but you can also mess with the gamma with the offset and as well as the lift. So that's a really, really cool feature that they also added in Movie Studio because if you had Movie Studio 16, you weren't able to use this feature because they recently inserted also in Platinum. What they also did is they inserted the lens correction plugin as well as the adjustable color temperature enhancement to white balance plugin. And what the really cool thing is that they also inserted 30 new actual unique fonts. So if you go to media generators and if we pick the titles and text, at the very bottom, let's see where it is. So if you pick titles and text right here, you want to pick the default for now, and you can actually pick one of the 30 new fonts. Now I want to pay attention guys that I have installed a font pack years ago, on my computer. So I have over 5,000 fonts. So it's a little bit difficult to tell which ones are the new, but it's actually up to you. And you can also find that on the website, which kind of, you know, fonts are actual new because it can be confusing. I mean, if you have a font pack installed, all the, for example, whatever 500 fonts, it's going to be pretty difficult to tell the new ones from the ones you already install, obviously. Okay, so the next feature that's also new is the redesigned effects window. For example, the video effects transitions, which I have showed you right here, of course, like this entire menu and all these bars where you can actually go ahead and sort your effects, you know, by the type of effects that they are. So another feature that they have updated in this software is the chroma blur. So if you go to the video effects tab and if we look for this feature, we can actually see the chroma blur right here. So if we extend or clip for a second, you guys can now see that it is going from a green fade into a light blue one. So if you drag on the default on this clip, we can actually pick from different presets which one we'd like to use. 
too. So that's a really, really cool feature as well. Okay, so this next feature is, I think, more specifically aimed for gamers. So let's say that you have a gameplay footage, for example, Fortnite, and you recorded your face cam with it, but you recorded it separately on your camera. So not like inserted a video capture device in OBS. So if you have, for example, a clip of you playing the game and the clip is on your camera, you insert it into Vegas Pro, you can actually add in like a really nice face cam border by clicking on border on the very left and you can choose what kind of border do you want do you want to have a black one with a soft edge do you want to have a faded one so if i drag the faded one onto the clip as you can see it is actually making a transparent one so you guys might think that you will now have a black actual faded face cam border but that's because we don't have anything underneath it so this will be transparent i'm just going to show you guys if i drag on this checkerboard under it as you can see right now it is nice and transparent so what you can do is you can have this really really nice faded one you can also have just a one with like a white border you can also change up the size right here and also the color for example a red face cam border but you can mess with this marker and you can actually choose the face cam border color yourself or you can just pick one from the presets in this list so another really cool feature is the black restore okay so as you can see i have this audi stock clip in my timeline so if you drag the default one of the black restore onto our timeline and if we mess with the threshold as you can see it's actually going to accent the black parts in the video let me just put everything on full so you guys can check it a little bit better with the better quality so if you drag on this clip it's basically going to highlight all the darker parts because this is basically the black restore. So let's say that you want to have a clip in your timeline and you need a lot more black accents. You can actually just drag up this threshold and it only works for darker parts. Because if you notice, if I drag up this marker, the first thing that's going to be changed are the darker parts but like below the car, for example, like that. And it doesn't pick any light colors because the brightest colors are the sky. And if you drag on the threshold marker, it doesn't do anything to the sky. So this is basically the black restore feature. Alright guys, so something I want to point out that's very important is that if you want to export your video on Vegas Pro, you would actually save your project first and then you want to proceed to click on, for example, file at the top and then hit render as in this menu. But as you can see, the file button is actually gone from this menu. So what you want to do then is you want to hit project and you want to click on make movie. So then it basically asks you like, what do you want to do with your movie? Upload it to Vimeo, upload it to YouTube, upload it to Facebook, burn it to a DVD or Blu-ray disc, save it to my camera or portable device, or save it to my hard drive. So if you want to first save this video onto your computer, like a rendered file in Vegas Pro, you basically want to click on save it to my hard drive. But if you want to upload it straight onto your channel on Vimeo, YouTube, or Facebook, you want to pick these ones. But I just want to make sure that I'm going to render this first. So I'm going to save it to my hard drive. And then you can basically choose, of course, the render format and everything. So I'm going to pick MP4. That's the most obvious one. I want to make sure that I'm going to render 60 FPS in this. So I'm going to click on advanced options and then you will actually see this render as box just in Vegas Pro. You want to basically pick your format. I always render in Sony AVC slash MVC. I'm going to click on there and I'm just going to pick my 60 FPS template and you can also choose your render location. If you click on browse, you will actually be prompt this box to save your video and then you can actually just go ahead and hit render. So what's also included is the Magix Video Maker. That's also a very cool one. We also have a channel blend feature. And of course, the list is really, really long, guys. And I would like to make this walkthrough as efficient as possible. And the topics I'm not covering today in depth will be covered in depth actually in an upcoming video. I'm going to make a separate video about that one. So this is actually what's new in Movie Studio 17 Platinum, guys. It is really, really cool. And it's especially really interesting for people that don't have the budget for like Vegas Pro and like the 
full package or just people that have the budget but they don't want to spend it on it and they just want to stick with movie studio 17 platinum because if you're going to ask me i've been using movie studio platinum for side projects as well for over years now and it does the job amazingly so hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough and that's it so guys that is for this video now you guys know what is new in vegas movie studio 17 platinum so the most important thing is if you want to get your hands on this software make sure to check out the first link down in the description if you click on there it will lead you directly to the page where you can pick up the software it's actually pretty affordable because it's not like the entire vegas pro program it is actually more like kind of a budget you know vegas pro version so that's it guys i want to thank magix for the incredible support and providing me this copy so i can create also tutorials in this and also this walkthrough so if you guys want to see more videos about this make sure to hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and let me know also with a comment down below what you would like to see in vegas movie studio so that's all i have for you guys today and i'll see you guys obviously in my next video